Because got more racers. Got Nakarashi versus Lost for words. We've got him nice. here. War mech on the left there. Hello, Cyra Hydra joining us on commentary. Hello. Um It's a pleasure and an honor. We got War Mech uh from Final Fantasy One as the, as the display picture on the left. <laughs> on the right, pretty high resolution. I'm not sure what game that's from. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh... It's from Crotel. Must be like a next-gen PS4. Yeah. PS5. Crotel is a real game. It's like, but it looks the opposite of that. Well, in terms of these uh, people as racers instead of people as display picks, Nakarashi is participating for the first time. I think this is their first match as well, this tournament. So a question mark for us. Always fun. And on the right, Lost for Words has a win rate of 50%, which is pretty darn good. Not oh. everyone gets to 50%. And uh, only joined last tournament, finished 55th. So uh, that's a it's a pretty strong start. I think I think the most common score when you join for the first time is 0-2 by far. So to pick up two wins along the way, that's pretty good. This game has been pulled. Here's the part where I gotta find the pace bin for it. And then actually have time to read it so Andy doesn't yell at me. Luckily, this is a short pace bin. We're gonna be rescuing some princesses, it looks like. Um, menacing triangles and slime. From... This is uh, somewhat of a classic. It is not from our classic pool, but it has been in more than once before. Although I have not played it. Oh. <laughs> he moved the window after I was done. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Nakarashi's trying to figure out the best layout here. I believe I will reveal the system, which is, which is, what is this? Is this Game, Game Gear? Gear? Game Gear. Classic. I, I, I kept thinking Master System, but then I realized they're the same, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it's basically a Master System that you can hold in your hands. Yeah, I think it might literally be the same hardware. There was a, at least a lot of cross ports it was very easy to port games from one to the other you hold it in your hands and it takes eight double a's to give you two <laughs> hours did it really take eight double a's that's insane I, it was either eight or six it was a Reg lot regular game boy was four i want to say i destroyed so many batteries when i was a young lad on vacation at some point, I was the cool kid on the block who had a giant charging pack for the Game Boy where you could plug it into the wall and charge it up, and then it had a clip on it so you could clip it on your pants or your belt or whatever, and then play Game Boy on the go outside with the thing that lasted for like a, a couple good hours. Like it was, no that way. was pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. How also, much did that cost in 1990? <laughs> well, I don't want to know. I was still a, a kid at the time, so I was I was shielded from from such things. It in, it indeed takes. What you game by was two six. triple A? No, it takes three. Uh, well, I thought it was four double A. Is it four? Right, we're already ready. Just oh, about to start. Here. Yeah, Are so I was uh, Nakarashi's oh, been watching the demo mode for a while, which is a great strategy when you are 
uh, in a mystery tournament match, and I w Lost for Words wasn't. Was just it was on the title screen, but it wasn't really playing. So I was like, you know, a bit of an edge. But Lost for Words did get a little glimpse at the game in the demo mode after all. So has seen a little bit of what kind of things you can do in this cute little puzzle game. New princess. All right, makes sense. Nakarashi has punched out the wrong things here. Yeah, I believe you need to make it so you yourself can get to the princess. That would make sense. And you can punch up and punch down. Or make the princess come to you. Yep. Oh, well, I like this map that kind of shows you, like, hey, here's what you're up against. Here's what it's going to be. And then you get in and it's one screen anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... <laughs> the kick down is awesome! <laughs> this guy's so weird! Just stomping is he a, it. Is he a vampire? <laughs> he looks a little like a vampire. And has he has a cape and it looks like maybe... It's either buck teeth or fangs, it's hard to say. I, I think that's buck teeth. <laughs> so this triangle, I think you can... Oh, he punched the princess and fell on the triangle. <laughs> Neither of these are things you want to be doing. <laughs> You can punch the triangle, is what oh, I was I, gonna say. I, I, I really, I was kind of wishing if you punch the princess, you automatically lost. Yeah, it's like shooting the dog in Duck Hunt, which you can't do in the NES version, but apparently you can do in the arcade version. Oh, yeah, I was gonna or say like, or at least, least there's a schoolyard rumor about it. <laughs> I, th I think part of that might also be like, you know, catharsis. So I missed it during the stage selection, but it looked like there was a little note at the bottom that was like a hint on how to do the stage. I'll have to take a closer look at that. Oh, you can punch while you're on a ladder. Nakarashi drops down. It's a nice simple pace bend for a nice simple game, though. You don't really need to say a whole lot. So I guess the key thing here is that you can bring the right side down twice by punching two different blocks and not the other ones. So the only way to ever get the princess out is to punch the right side twice and the middle one zero. Mm. Every game needs a pick a door level. Not the other My ones. favorite MT so the... level <laughs> where you randomly pick a door. Nakarashi, I think, has just made it impossible to finish. So Lost for Words and Lead stalking the princess from below. So do we know if the if the game is automatically killing you when you can't finish, or if there's like a reset reset level button that just the player's a, character off the screen. <laughs> there is a suicide button combo that the players can do if they feel like they're stuck. But you're right, it does seem to happen really quick. I, I wonder if the game is doing some kind of automatic check. I think the players might just be in tune to it, but... I, although, yeah, you're right, it does happen quick. It gives you an IQ? Oh no. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> when you lose, it tells you what your IQ is, and it's frustratingly low. <laughs> It's very low, like way too low that it should be for like just a, a couple of tries at a puzzle. <laughs> it's the IQ of a four-year-old of a small child, so. Good job, your IQ is six. <laughs> All right, Nakarashi solves that one, but Lost for Words is like two or three puzzles ahead at this point, and the goal is only to finish uh, puzzle number 20, so this could be a short one. 21 for some reason. Oh, I thought it was reaching 21. Yeah, you're right. Beat 21. Okay. So Lost for Words just finished 7, and Nakarashi is on 5, so 3 levels ahead. Oh, Ooh. bats can kill the princess. Gotta look out. Mm. IQ 126? IQ equals All right. 126. <laughs> I love that it gives you an IQ. Dude, what a big brain, right? <laughs> <laughs> It's like they like they don't care that that word actually like m sort of means something. I know. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's higher than 
the IQ I got when I took an IQ test. <laughs> it's also just like how arrogant they can be to determine your IQ via this <laughs> method. <laughs> yeah, well that's fine. Everything about IQs are arrogant. Yeah. Oh god, I hit my head and now I think IQ is real. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay, you can punch down on the spikes. This guy's tough. It, you, you're right, you're right. That kick is really good. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any other game where you can come directly down on top of spikes and have it not result in death. <laughs> just, just like, forcefully mash your appendage on it as hard as you can. Well, you can even do it from the side. Wow. Wow. Oh, I think needed to wait. I think needed the princess to come with him. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. That's exactly what I would do. That's the kind of thing where I would I would put a move on the board and then be like, crap, that was wrong. Like, I, I'd see it immediately, but I wouldn't see it ahead of time. But then would you uh, go through the level and then do it a second time? <laughs> yeah, well, that is my <laughs> special move. That's the question. That's a clear so you do have to wait words. for the princess, but this doesn't seem so bad when it comes to waiting for the princess. Yeah. Nakarashi was trying to make something happen on the left side of the stage, but the ladder just, you know, it wasn't going to come down the way that they wanted it to. Mm. Oh, but they, they kicked down, and now they've got a path to work with. Oh no, the little guy! Oh, maybe oh. with a really quick double punch or something, that would have been okay. Lost for words, trapped a bat in a tiny... Oh, hi, Kune! 194! Genius over oh, here! Man. I don't think that's even realistic. They should be destroying this game, then. <laughs> Magical Puzzle Popless is nothing compared to the world peace you can achieve with a 194. Once again, traps the bat, and that one's going to be no good. Yeah, this platform, this this game is interesting. Like, this level that Nakarashi is on, I don't really have this really obvious sense of what needs to be done here. And, like, all my natural instincts are like, okay, we'll just use some ladders and go up. Like, you you can't jump, right? Like, it. Yeah. You, there, there are all these weird situations where a ladder is just above you, and you can't, you can't get to it. you got to do something else. Lost for Words somehow went over the top. Um, like, went to the left. Yeah, just like this. Yeah. Like, you could stand on top of the ladder. Yeah. I wonder how... He can get the slime out of there, though. Yeah. It seemed good when the slime went away from the princess, but now it's just... It's just in the way. To be clear, to I mean, it's it. good It's good that he tried, I guess, but the face pin does say you cannot kill enemies uh, in any way. Oh, the slimes can use doors. I mean, the face pin says that, but have you seen this guy kick? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Being kicked down through a spike, slimes should be nothing. Oh, you can oh, block nice. the door. Spikes the slime... And I think that's a clear for Nakarashi. On to round eight. Making good time. Yeah. Oh, now you can just go in the door. Like, Lost for, Lost for Words has a lead here, but, like, Nakarashi's also getting a pretty good handle on this. Yeah, although, at this point... Pretty significant lead when you're only playing through to 21. Yeah, plus on IQ of 28, you're going to really struggle with these. Specials. Yeah. <laughs> IQ of 20. Yeah, it's good that he's even made it this oh, far. That, that's, really nice move there from Makarashi. That's Why? plus the IQ of a child or a dog, or like the <laughs> IQ of an especially... <laughs> an especially precocious snail. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's so weird how the everything falls down because you don't really expect the background to fall down. Right. But it's not really the background. I think this is not happening here though, yeah. Yeah, Nakarashi is having a problem with um you you do things to get the princess to safety away from the bats. Less so than, like, this is the optimal number of moves to come down the tower or whatever. Uh, and then you find out you were too inefficient, you used the blocks in the wrong spot. Three seventy one. <laughs> what? <laughs> My god. <laughs> Just completely beyond the realm of humans. <laughs> Can cancel the tournament. I mean, this is way more important. <laughs> yeah, cancel <laughs> context. This we got to get some scientists in here. Yeah. Look, I. Okay, so I, I yeah. can imagine there, there's a Mensa member out there saying that they have an IQ of 371. <laughs> you can find anything on the internet. <laughs> uh, Nakarashi got the correct method there, so I think sees how to solve, but. Um, trap the princess with the bat. There we go. Good to go. Lost Words is taking a lot of time here, and, and I don't blame them, because this is the kind of thing where it's really easy to do one wrong thing and lock yourself oh, out of a like solution. that. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably bad. You could punch... No, if you punch left twice, you're going to lower the, that one column even further. You could even get over there, which you can't, because you're completely locked from punching anything over there. Yeah, I played a puzzle game on PC semi-recently called The Golem, and there was, like, an interview with the guy who made it on their website, and it said that it was designed to be, like, where you couldn't just start doing things and figure out the puzzle. You had to fully know what you were going to do before you even started, and that's I feel like that's kind of how this is. If you just start doing things, chances are it's going to be wrong. You have to have a full plan in place, I feel like, before you can really finish this game. Oh. Lost, Lost for Words, words I thought, was, was in a no-win situation, but there was a block down below that could be kicked. I did, too. That, that was very impressive. That's what 371 will get you. <laughs> So he's trying to get the kick on this. Three seventy one was previous. He he's clearly at like four something now. Yeah, he's moved beyond. Oh, trying to do it across a gap. It's a strong strategy. I wonder if that's actually how you need to do it's it. It's a thing. The pace spin says you can punch across gaps. So now I'm a little worried that Lost for Words tried it and now is maybe thinking it's not a thing. There's so few things that can be tried. Mm. All right, Nakarashi has bounced back from an IQ assessment of 28 to 140, so that's good news for them. Yeah. That's awesome. That's still a little a bit of... lower than three. Cinderella story. <laughs> that's true. Still has a lot of catching up to do. But Lost Rewards has made zero progress, and Nakarashi and hopefully doesn't level. get in the. This is another thing. Um, I don't know. It's hard to give a tip on this because I feel like it's not always the right uh, strategy, but we often see racers try something, fail, but they just didn't try it good enough and they won't try it again for forever. And that that trips them up. It's, But you don't really want to give the advice, just try the same thing over and over even if it's not working. <laughs> so it's difficult to try and work your way out of that situation, but we do see this quite a bit. Yeah, if I had to summarize it, I would say to learn to realize when you need to challenge the assumptions you've made about the puzzle. Mm. That's a good it's, way to put it. Because it's pretty natural to make assumptions about the way things should work. That will kind of guide your thinking. And the easier a game is, the more right you're going to be immediately. Um, and the more your assumptions are going to be correct. But eventually, when it starts to get harder and it starts to get more clever than some things you've assumed. Oh, oh, come on. Nice. There it is. That's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. 
It's a very strange mechanic. It it it's a Game Gear puzzle game. <laughs> oh, she's that fine. Counted. Whoa! You can I save the princess <laughs> before she gets spiked. You just gotta catch her. I I think that might have been the only way to do it, or some variation on that. You can kick down yeah. when it's across from you and kill the spike, but but else you can't kick down in midair. And there's the spike right under that. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you, you can't do like a flying leg drop or anything. <laughs> cool as <laughs> that would be. That that be, that'd be too cool for this. That, yeah, what company is this? Tengen. Tengen. Interesting. They're responsible for that weird version of Tetris. <laughs> yeah, that awful version. <laughs> I bought it in a flea market or like a. This, I was at like this retro game thing and this guy was like, oh, Famicom games, all like five bucks. They were just like all cheap. I was like, oh, Tetris, this must just be the Japanese port. And then I put it in. And I was like, this sucks. <laughs> this isn't Tetris. <laughs> the Famicom Tengen Tetris is not good. <laughs> it was a really quick solve from Nakarashi. Getting on to Tengen some was also levels. one of the only companies that... Uh, sort of circumvented the NES, the N Nintendo's seal of approval on NES games. You can often find Tengen released games that are this weird, they're black cartridges and they have like uh -huh. a weird thumb hole. They're shaped funny. Yeah, I got one for Gauntlet. I have uh, an RBI baseball that's Tengen. I think I've seen that Gauntlet cart before. Oddly enough, some games were released in both forms, where there's an official one and a Tengen one. Nakarashi is just punching away at these blocks. He doesn't like it. Just gonna go ahead and reset. Lost for Words paused for a moment, but is now back putting more moves on the board. And the princess comes to him! Nice. I'm, I'm having a really hard time with these puzzles. Lost for Words is doing quite a good job. I think seeing it pretty quick. What the hell happened there? Uh, yeah, IQ is falling a little bit, but... Let me see what previous times of this have been. Yeah, so I mean, Lost for Words is making good progress. Alpha's time, who tends to be a puzzle master, and then if you question any of Alpha's times, he'll say he was drunk or tired, um, got 19 minutes on this goal. And Lost for Words isn't honestly that far away, so. Lost for Words has seemed to have uh, paused for a bit here, considering the puzzle. That did not seem to be the answer. <laughs> oh, actually. Nope. It must immediately kill you when you can't win. I think you're right. Yeah. Because that was instant. Yeah. Kind of an interesting way. If... At least the game doesn't make you play. Certain games, some, stuff like Lost Vikings, where you can just, like, still play the whole level when you've already lost. I hate that. Can be annoying. You don't think it does? You think Lost for Words is just on it? I mean, that could be, too. I mean, that, that would be a fairly impressive feature to uh, include in a... Game Gear block puzzle game. Yeah, I guess that's fair. It's surprising so many how... <laughs> possible moves on any given level. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but it's surprising how sort of... Puzzle games haven't honestly come that far. There's there's certain cool meta elements, and there's been more creati creativity and, like, ways to make them, but when it comes to puzzle games... A good NES puzzle game isn't going to feel a whole lot different than, like, Baba's U, except that it'll have an undo. That, 
That's true. Nakarashi gets the princess killed. Lost her words has fallen all the way to 16.3 IQ. No. <laughs> 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 The IQ of a particularly sharp rock. <laughs> so this door and the puzzle Nakarashi's on <clears throat> needs to be avoided. If the princess walks into it at any point, the spike on the other side is waiting. And that's something they understand about the puzzle now. I think you might be quite a bit behind. What's 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 the time on your timer? Or if you're using Discord, I guess you're not. Yeah, well, I did has, just have some internet problems, so I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Well, I refreshed. I'm at 2054, 55. Yeah, yeah. Same. That's right. Meanwhile, lost for words. Uh, seems completely stumped. Is lost for words. Yeah, I'm. I am a bit too. Oh, is actually like on the ladder, so is safe on that square. That's really tricky. Wait, is this what he has to do? He's been there a couple times. Um, it's unclear. He can't. Oh, they are offset. He can eventually get both slimes. Yeah, I think he. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't walk on the ladder. <laughs> it's just smacking him around now. What's Taking the play here, the though? Like, you can't drop the blocks in from under the slimes and, like, kill him on the spikes or whatever, because you're not going to have a way across. If he were to go down below... Yeah, it's like the, the second to last column here where you have just a slime and a block. I just, I don't know what you do here. Because you can't knock out that block. Can't and you... you can't punch slimes. Can't you bait the slime through the door so that they go through and then... Uh, uh -oh. that's, all, that's what he had to do. Good call. Yeah, okay. The slimes are- oh, wow, he does manage to get them all through that door. I wasn't sure that was gonna work. The, uh, the no-go sign only appears, I think, on the exit. So people can't come through right when they've left. Right. But you can leave a door as quick as possible. Yeah, I thought it was like if someone's on the other side, they're they're blocking it for someone who wanted to come through. But it's not. It's just a. It's to prevent you from just warping infinitely between two doors. Nakarashi immediately trying to punch across the gap and gets it. Wow. So that's gonna be some making up some time. Got quite a bit to go though. But it's not over yet. Oh, and well, does the mirror uh, catch? Yeah. That did, got it right off the gate. On to 16. Lost for words is on 18, I think. Yeah, and spent forever on 17. So we could see a comeback. Oh, the doors are all different shapes. I didn't even notice that. So yeah. you do know which one leads where. That's nice. Oh, Nakarashi is trapped. Yeah, Last for Words is on 18, so just two apart now. Kind of the closest they've been in a long time. I mean, also, Nakarachi hasn't been that far behind, like, three to four at most. Yeah, there, there's definitely potential for an upset here if uh, Nakarachi sees these the solutions to these later levels more readily than Lost for Words is. Princess was definitely trapped, and nothing could be done about it for Nakarashi. But did see how to kind of get over into the left side of the puzzle. I think that was the first time I've seen them in the bottom left.
Oh, it's Magical Puzzle Popills. I thought it was Popless. Yeah, I don't think they're really those are words clearer though, so to me. <laughs> it's not pupils, it's not poppin', it's... Maybe that's the name of our character, or the princess. I'm looking for lore. So during my internet hiccup, I think maybe Lost for Words finished 18 is on 19? Yes, I believe so. Looking for lore. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Oh. Accidentally was probably pressing the two buttons and immediately Nakarashi, suicide. Nakarashi has reached 17. This uh, was a huge sticking point. This slime... Okay, is gonna move. Almost right on top of him. So this is a win, right? Down the ladder, punch the block, way to the top of the ladder. Oh, well, it could have worked. Could be a Mr. Undo moment. This says the slime is going to get me, but I won't let you. I've, I've, I'll drop on this. I, I feel instead. like Nakarashi has this. Like... Got caught to up wait. by the weird the IQ weird... of three. Wow. <laughs> the... Just because of this funny door mechanic that locked them out, because they. Do you gotta get like a certain distance away from the door, or is it time based? I'm not quite sure. I think it's just time based. They just need to wait a little bit longer. Well, you can't. Well, I guess you can wait to punch the block, I guess. Yeah, see. <laughs> The lore is actually kind of a twist. There is a short animation during the game intro explaining a beautiful princess and a boy fall in love, but the evil wizard named Popil kidnaps her and traps her inside Enchanted Forest. It's up to the boy to rescue her. So Popil is the e is the antagonist's name. Nice, Nakarashi finished that way faster than Lost for Words. Much. Yeah, um, had the solution kind of a while ago and just kept making execution errors one time accidentally kicked down instead of punching across. Oh, that spike didn't lower where the princess was. I can't see any clear reason for why that happened. Yeah, there's something about the mechanics I'm misunderstanding. Oh, that spike is not on a black square. Oh, so it's not structural in any way, I guess? Doesn't seem to be. So when you punch a sp spike, really, you're punching the black square that the spike is on? I think so? Oh man, this is so close, though. Oh, that'll work, oh. just catch her. There it is! Nice! I didn't we even consider that. We are on the that. same and level. Are we caught yeah. up? We're caught up! Nakarashi knocks this out both way quicker than Lost for Words did. But we can see a comeback. I this think this is Nak a pretty Nakarashi tough level. Too. Yeah, this is their first mystery tournament match. Uh, it's doing really well. Um, this is a tough level, though. There's a, there's a lot going on. I haven't been looking at it the way that Lost for Words has for so long. Um, but they've just been staring at it, trying to find something new. Yeah, that's, uh... I mean, that that's one of the, the major things about, like, the puzzle submissions that I've been seeing. Like, you never know what what's going to catch somebody out. And even if someone's struggling with one thing, they might just catch up and grab onto another concept much more readily. Yeah, my my special thing when I'm playing a puzzle game is uh, I will it'll just be like one one move, one idea or something that I don't see as easily and getting my brain to conceive of that new thing 
that like wasn't like ready to go uh, is just like the hardest thing in the world sometimes. I will I will spend a reasonable amount of time, like a very normal amount of time on every single puzzle in a puzzle game, and then literally an hour on on just one puzzle that I just can't. It yep. just doesn't click. Yep. No, I, I've been there. <laughs> so we'll see what kind of level this ends up being for both of these players. Ooh, Nakarashi's doing something here. This looks pretty good. You can go across those in here. Now what? Okay, it just needs to fix the, the left side. Yeah, that, that'll all work. And with that, Nakarashi takes a lead. So what was the what was the secret sauce? I, I missed the special move that made those ladders line up the way that they are. I think it was just um, the order they took out the blocks. Well, yeah, I, I think guess that's so. definitely <laughs> what it was. <laughs> I think it couldn't be anything but that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> So we're on 20 now for Nakarashi. This is the second to last level. I think if Lost right. for Words punches... Like he goes to the right of the door. Oh wait, he can't even do that, right? You go through the door then. You automatically go through the door. Okay, yeah, then never mind. <laughs> mm. uh, the players have figured out a way to get kind of like over the door by punching out underneath it. Good call by Nakarashi. I didn't even see that. He went over the slime. Oh man, these slimes are... There's some strong slimers. This slime is... I don't know if there's a way for Nakarashi to get this, get past this slime here. It's just gonna... I don't, I don't think you can walk on slimes. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it. So, two interesting things. There's an infographic on this Wikipedia page. I've never seen an infographic for a game on a Wikipedia page before. And then also, this game has 100 levels. Then after that, you they let you play through the game again, and you have to beat every stage in the fewest possible number of steps. Oh, God. And, and then it takes you to a secret stage called Round Zero, which has some sort of special gameplay trick that is not seen on any of the rest of the hundred stages. And then that's, that's the wild. Game. It is pretty wild, and, and it doesn't... The Wikipedia page doesn't say what the trick is, so... <laughs> it doesn't want to spoil it? <laughs> and it's like a and like a Game Gear game, a Master System game. Yeah, like I mean the the the, uh, the puzzle game with the super secret, like hard to find ending, with extra puzzles. <laughs> I know. It, like it, like it, that's a that's a beloved thing about a lot of great puzzle games, like Braid, Bob is. It says the only like, way to get back to it if you can't complete it. There's some sort of resume feature on the game gear you can do, I guess, but if you don't do that, you have to do the whole thing again and play the game per like you have to do this all in one session. Yeah, that sounds like the kind of stupid thing that old game devs thought was okay to do. <laughs> can you not punch while on the ladder? You can. Well then I don't know what Nakarashi is doing. He's doing this like the correct thing at the start. And then at the end, he just has to punch right twice, so that the uh, slime drops on the spike. Yeah, let's take a look and see as they make their way back to the ladder. Here, okay, so now right, kill the spike, kill the block, kill the block above the ladder, climb up. And now just punch right twice, right? Yeah, well... Oh, wait. The slime is... No, wait, the slime will fly. die on the spike, but then so will you. Oh, but then you could just wait for her to stand on the block and then punch it, and she'll come down to you. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, almost crushed the princess Whoa. there. <laughs> okay. Just you and the princess. 21 or B21? B21. 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 Which is a really weird goal, but I'm not going to question it. Yeah, it's one of those things where level 22 is probably complete garbage, and you don't want anyone to have to play it. Yeah. Also, this is what's always been in before. Thump. So Nakarashi dumped a slime on himself twice. <laughs> yeah, that did it again. I think he's right. Then he needs to just kind of do it from the side and then dodge it. Maybe not. Oh, this is... This is free, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. GG. 
Well, that's it. The come from behind victory, lost for words, stumped Definitely. on number nineteen. Back. It's happened before in puzzle game races. It'll happen again, and it's happened here to lost for words. And again, I up here in the commentary booth, right? Like I missed it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is even that Lost for Words has missed out on. It was something to do with bringing down the column where they're standing right now to create that staircase of ladders. Can't he just? <laughs> no, then he doesn't have enough ladders. Wait, no. Can't he just punch the spike and then the block and then the block above as well? Oh, can you punch across the door to hit the spike without going into the door? Probably, right? Maybe. Hello, Maybe that's Nakarachi. the trick. Also, you can just punch. Oh, wait, no. Oh, we can't hear you. Every single time. No one who joins an interview is working. It doesn't matter who you are, how good with technology you are. It doesn't matter. This is the rule. Your mic must not work at first. It, it's the MFH ghost. MFH is haunted. Yeah. Haunted by that, by non-connecting mics. Infernal Translator has both level 1, level 2, and level 3 clearance all at once. Oh, oh my god. I did notice. What does it mean? Nakarashi, if you can hear me, try unplugging and then plugging your mic back in. That's what everyone says that they do to fix it. No, it would help very much if I remembered my settings that I had it on push to talk. There oh. we go. Yes. Yes, it would. Hello. Hello. I am shocked. That was it that was, was a, pretty good. It was a come from behind victory. You were behind until level 18. Then you moved ahead and then finished it out. I, I kind of had a feeling with that. I got pretty walled on, what was it, 15 um, for quite a while, and then finally yeah. figured out the uh, the setup for that one. Yeah, Lost for Words had trouble on the first one where you had to punch a gap, punch across a gap. You did that much quicker. Um, but really, it's come down to 18 here. Uh, or is this 19? This is 19. 19, then. Um you pulled ahead on 19, so actually pretty pretty late into the race. Nice nice and close one, then. That always feels good. No, I had the, uh, I made sure to read through the, uh, the notes fairly well with the specific line in there about punching across gaps, so I made sure to keep that in mind. Always read the pace pen. Good. Good advice for anyone. Um, what'd you think of the game? Pretty fun, actually. Um, took a little bit, as I'm sure you noticed, to get some of the mechanics down, but it's actually a pretty fun little puzzle game. Are you a fan of puzzle games? I am, uh, for the most part. I did a lot of uh, point-of-click adventures when I was younger, doing, you know, like the Sierra games and things like that, so I always had a mind out for some of these puzzle sort of things. How do you, uh, how do you feel about your IQ fluctuating so wildly <laughs> that seemed pretty apt didn't it <laughs> yeah although it was a little mean on some of some of the lower numbers i mean it's really they're really pushing it there <laughs> with, so you gotta love your S50. we saw single digits a couple times like just <laughs> yeah, we just yeah. Out, right <laughs> i think if you I'm... don't if you die on the same level it really gives you a low score it it does we, we saw a three come up. Oh no. <laughs> One of those. Well, you really should have learned from the last time around. Um, 4.4. 4. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, this game's been in quite a bit. I think it's a game people like. It's a fun uh, puzzle game. Apparently there are a hundred levels. And then you have to beat them all perfectly, and then you unlock oh, a no. super secret round zero level. Uh, that sounds like a little bit of a mess, but I might <laughs> have to try more of it now. Yeah. I don't know if it's really worth it to go all the way, but that's what the Wikipedia no. page says exists. 
So, so this, this your is your... Question? Yeah, uh, that's exactly my question. <laughs> really? I'm, yeah, so, this sorry. Is, this... I'm so sorry. I took it from mid. How, how did you hear yeah. about it? How do you like it so far? So I, I am not really a streamer or anything, but I've been following the community for quite a while. Um, I actually just joined Cuso Grande for the first time this last uh, tournament as well. Great. And got to know Roar a bit and kind of jumped in. Figured I'd jump in with both feet. Absolutely. Nice. We have a lot of people coming over from Cuso Grande and vice versa. Um, what you what do you think? Uh, what do you think of the first match? I said it was it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to more random zaniness. Yeah, you really never know. It's kind of the it's kind of the theme. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of uh, what it says on the tin, right? Exactly. What would be your uh, what would be your ideal type of game? What, where do you feel you're the strongest? Usually, you know, puzzle thought provoking ones. I'm not almost always the quickest on the draw in terms of uh, some high speed sort of games, but I'm pretty open for anything. So we'll just see how long I can go. Sweet. Perfect. I feel that's the right attitude. <laughs> Hey, one step, especially when you're brand new like this, one step along the tournament is one step more than I was expecting. Yeah, a quarter of the players uh, go 0-2, to make that clear. So win winning any matches, it feels good, it's impressive, it's fun. And even Lost for Words is not out of it yet because it's a double elimination tournament. Although if I remember correctly, Lost for Words, I don't remember the card exactly, but it isn't like... I think did pretty decently in the two tournaments that uh, they've been in so far. Yeah. So, 85% win rate? Something yeah. like that? I think it was uh, only joined last tournament, Mystery Tournament 15, and went 2-2. Two and two, So Impressive. Yeah, that's nothing to sneeze at. Oh, I think, I think oh, that, Lost for Words has got that, it. That, that's, that's how they did it. Uh, you stand on that block and punch up so you don't fall down. Just uh, needs to sort of... I found oh. a different solution. Yeah, the left side was a little different. Yeah. It's crazy how open some of these are. Those are the harder levels, especially for me. I have a hard time figuring out where to start when things are so open. Right. Indeed. Uh, I, I noticed there was quite a few options for some of the ladder levels. Some of them really good at just kind of if you stuck yourself out of a ladder, I think you saw you could take care of some things that you may be able to do in a different way. Yeah, it's a really weird mechanic uh, for a puzzle game, especially one this old, to be so open. But it's also cool. Uh, There's also the way, these... Correct. Sorry, go ahead. The, well, the enemies in this game are like... A, sometimes they are puzzle elements, but they're also just like straight up like an arcade game, like avoid them style gameplay right like a there's a that sort of keeping track of where they all are on the screen and taking paths to avoid them leaving yourself paths to avoid them it's right. uh it, they're not something you can just beat up right yeah um and they're there's something that they move on their own there's they introduce like a time element you can't just stand around and do whatever you want to do think about the puzzle like when the slime is coming at you right so it's a uh, yeah it's sort of I mean, I'm curious if that was like a frustrating aspect of the game at all or anything. Just just a little bit. Once you got used to, okay, certain of these puzzles, you need to move quickly because the only way you can do it is by avoiding the slime and then getting it either behind you or somewhere else was just a mechanic to learn. Uh, what would you say was your uh, favorite level out of this set, Nakarashi? Hmm. Favorite level. <laughs> it's difficult. Honestly, uh, question. some of the some of the later ones, like uh, eighteen, nineteen, they had some really interesting thought process involved, especially when they introduced the uh, teleporting doors. Okay. 
just had to really start thinking about, okay, what is connected to what and how do I manipulate things to get around it? Uh, the sequence of events that they're trying to guide you along to. Yeah. Yeah. And then also the consideration of, okay, do I use these to move the princess around or do I use them to move myself around? There was, um, you could, like, hit a button to get a hint about the stage at the bottom. And, like, I was surprised how often it was, like, a pretty meaningful hint. I think I must have, I think I might have completely missed that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think you gotta hit a button or something. It says, like, hit button one. But, uh, for example, on 18, where Lost for Words was stuck, it said, you must go to her. Rather than, like, having her come to you, I guess. Okay, right. yeah, I, I get that. So far, Lost for Words is um, sort of falling into the same trap you did of sort of not realizing what you're able to do once you have this ladder. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy to do. It's right there and it's just, it's just thinking really hard. To be fair, I don't think I would, I would be doing any better at this. No, it's um, it's a tough thing to wrap your head around. Like it, it, it seems straightforward. Like yeah, you punch your thing and everything comes down. But like, something about it is unintuitive. Well, and the slime scares you. They they put an execution element, and you like don't want to try things anymore because you feel like you already got to know what you're gonna do. Mm hmm. So now you end up trying to visualize what's going to happen like three moves ahead and that's really not easy to do when you're talking about shifting the, the entire level or whatever this is going to work oh clips there he inside goes. Got it. there it goes <laughs> nice i believe that was the the same way you got there nakarashi yeah, yeah, I, I couldn't see that there would be any way to avoid that slime, so you basically had to use the spike to kill it. Right. I missed the hint there, it was cut off at the bottom of the screen. Well, we'll be seeing it again. Make slime Make fall. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. I do have to get going. I've got something, some obligation that just popped up. So thank you for everything. Thank you so much yeah. for coming to talk to us. Congratulations yeah. on your win. Good luck in your next match. Thank you very much. Have a good one. You too. You too. What a nice so guy. The princess will, will go in the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I was stalling. Be oh, you can just... You can yeah, just... Wait just Drop her oh, down. Is she not going to go in the door? Oh, okay, uh, he, uh, he punched too early. early. <laughs> um, sometimes the players like to talk to each other about the game, so I didn't want to end the interview before Lost Rewards finished. So yeah, was, was stretching it out there, aware that it you know it might be someone <laughs> might be wanting to go. Sometimes people just want to see the opponent play it too and discuss it, but yeah. This is one where there's a small enough levels you probably remember what you did on them. You you gotta smack talk your opponents a bit like pfft, level twenty one was barely a level. What is taking him so long? Oh, this doesn't look good. I don't I don't think there's any getting out of this. No, just the slime's there. Punch, punch. There nice. you go. Oh, yep, oh. fine. You don't need to make the slime fall. That's done. GG. 49.11 is the time. Oh, look how happy they are. Yeah, that's true. He does have an angry face on the entire game, so it's it's nice that he gets a little bit happy. Yeah. Although he's still he's still scowling. He's just smiling and scowling. Well, I actually have to go myself, but uh, you bring loss for words in, good luck, and uh, good matches tonight. Nothing else tonight, I don't think.